What's up, my peeps? Welcome back for Let's Play Final Fantasy VIII. In the last episode, we arrived on at Timber for whatever reason. Their base is a train. Yeah, we are train hoppers. <laughs> All right. In all seriousness, in this episode, we're gonna get in on the Forest Owl's plan to carry out the mission. All right, let's do this. Woo, woo. This is Zell. And Selfie. Hi, everyone. <coughs> this way. All right, they head in. Just send anywhere you want. This is a full scale operation. Our resistance, the forest owls, will be forever known in the pages of Timber's independence. Exciting, huh? It all started with got some top secret info from Galvedia. Lock up the info, sir! There's a VIP from Galvedia coming to Timber. Super VIP! This guy's name is Vincer Dealing, our arch enemy and the president of Calpedia. Professor Vincer Dealing is a scoundrel. He's a dictator, not a president. Not even popular in Calpedia, sir. President Dealing is taking a private train from Calpedia capital. Our plan is to. Plot of Smithereens of the Rocket Lock? Oh! Selfie! Uh, I I love this girl, honestly. <laughs> Selfie, you are amazing. Ah, uh, not quite. So I'll get to the point. Just tell us what to do. Shall we begin? First, I'll go over the model. The yellow train on the top right is our base. We're writing it now. Right next to it is a dummy car. It made to look just like the president's car. <coughs> the train has three cars. First is a locomotive, followed by the first escort. The red car is the president's car. Dealing should be inside. Last car is the second escort. Once we get on this one, we begin the operation. Our ultimate goal is to seize the president by using our own base. The teams, we uh, switched the dummy car. That means we have to switch our dummy car with the president's car. We'll use two switch points leading to the carry, <laughs> leading up to timber to carry out this operation. Okay, now I'm gonna explain the procedures in seven steps. Take it for the second escort. We'll get on the, we'll get on the roof of the second escort by jumping from our dummy car. The second escort is the only one that is equipped with a sensor, sir. High tech officer I is on board. I'll talk about the sensors later. First step two being proceed cautiously across the roof of the second escort. Proceed across the roof of the president's car. We can move across the roof of the president's car without worrying too much. Healing hates the company of his cards and being surrounded by sensors and keeps them away from his car. Oh boy. <clears throat> Uncouple the first escort car. We have to complete the uncoupling before we reach this first switch point. If we don't, boom! Game over, right? Yeah, so we'll have to move fast. I'll explain the uncoupling process later. Have the dummy car in our base move in after the uncoupling. After the car is uncoupled, We'll have the dummy car in our base move in. At this point, our train and their train will be linked and be moving together. <coughs> Couple the second escort car. This is the last uncoupling. The process will be similar to the first one. Escort this president's car and our base. If all goes well, 
They should be able to escape the president's car. After that, we'll return to our base and prepare to confront Ewing. You have exactly five minutes to complete the seven first features. And they have the R in case you forgot. If we fail, our train will collide with theirs at the switch point. It'll be all over. Don't forget that. Five minutes? You sure that's enough? Going to the simulation and re-ran, it will take three minutes to complete the operation. Piece of cake for seeds, right? Of course, too easy. Da 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 da. Okay, now let's talk about how to avoid the sensors on the second escort. Go ahead, Watts. The guards have a sound sensor and a temperature sensor, sir. At any rate, any sound will trigger the sound sensor. <clears throat> So move across very quietly, sir. That blue card is carrying this sensor. That temperature sensor will go off if you remain stationary, sir. The card in red is carrying this one, sir. When a guard opens a blind, that means he is checking into the sensor, so be careful. The range of the sensor is equal to the length of one window. So keep an eye on the window below, sir. Or above. So, how exactly do you avoid him? This is... Uh, yeah. You can read. Uh, basically, run or stop, depending on which card is below you. That's about it for the sensors. That is misleading information. I'll get into that later. <clears throat> Next, let's talk about how to uncouple the escort cars. Question. Uh, you realize they're about to get into that, right? Um, you can't uncouple the cars directly. Send them out the temper with the control system that manages the coupling. If we de temporarily disable the circuit for the connection, the car will uncouple, uncouple automatically. Disable it will help to enter several codes. And we have the codes. Reno has them, sir. I'll be in charge of relaying the codes to Squall. Squall, you slide down on the side of the train using a cable and enter the codes into the system. Now I need you to listen carefully. Enter. <coughs> Each code is made up of the numbers between 1 to 4. Nice, 4 digits. 2314. Uh, ah, I can't read. 2341 is an example. Now, see here the button configuration. Circle is 1. Cross is two, square is three, and triangle is four. But the keypad will have numbers instead of have four buttons on the controller. <coughs> For instance, if I relay the code three one two four, he'll push square, circle, cross, triangle in that order. You have to be quick and precise. You'll have about five seconds to read each one. Otherwise, the code will change and the past entries will become invalid. So, like we said, if they know all the codes, disable the connections. After we couple the cars, we'll wait for the others to operate the rail switch. Remember, we only have five minutes to do everything, so make sure that you're prepared. Okay, let's try, pra okay, let's try practicing. Enter the code. Enter three codes. You'll be finished. Hold down L1. 1, 3, 4, 3. 1, 3, 4, 3. Code 1 confirmed. 1, 3, 2, 4. 1, 3, 2, 4. Code 2 confirmed. 4, 4, 4, 2. Really easy. You'd have to be an idiot to not get this one. You got it? Real thing. There is a strict time limit leading to the switch point. Forget that. Um, that's all. By the way, the model is nice, but the president's car looks kind of shabby. Why is that? Yeah, I know I made it. That's why. We bought everything else at the guest store. Oh, I thought some kid made it. The paint job sucks too. Yeah, it kind of does. Oh, shut up! I made it look like that on purpose. It represents my hatred towards dealing. Hey, Shredder, eh? Yeah, right. He's one of the ugliest things I've ever seen in my life. You must really hate him. 
Dun, 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 dun. Are you guys finished? Now for the model. Can we get on with it now? Do you understand? Oh, I'm stupid. Explain it again. Yes, we understand. Let's decide on the party. Gathering information is my specialty, sir. Oh, my stomach. Baby. We're thinking again. I'll go take a look. Talk to Watts when you're ready. The sooner the better. Okay, so that moment I was talking about before, it's now. Do not talk to Watts. Instead, go to Renoa's room. You'll see the bed is tucked into this futon. And you'll find... Come on. Pet Pals Volume 2! It's vital that you get it now, because otherwise you will miss your chance. And that reminds me, you didn't read Pet Pals Volume 1. <coughs> Welcome to Pet Pals! We're bringing the latest pet news to dog lovers. Your dog learns a trick to damage enemies in this issue. Your dog comes to your rescue, you're in grave danger. It's called Angela Strike. As your dog lovers already know, walk with your dog to help them learn this trick. Have you ever wished your pet could rescue you in battle? This is just a trick for your dog to learn. Your dog finds and uses potions and other cures on a member who is near KO with this trick. It's called Angela Recover. A very nice trick indeed. So, already you can tell that Renoa's Limit Break works much differently than any others. In fact, we go to, um, specifically, I believe, um, yes, it is. Go to Renoa. Yes, Angelo has Angelo Rush. And Angelo Cannon. Both pretty good, but Angelo Strike and Angelo Recover. We both got that from reading Pet Pals. And through um, just walking around, Angelo will be able to learn new tricks. Making this a pretty neat limit break indeed. I will go ahead and have that on Angelo Recover. Now, I do right after the dream sequence, everything is decongestioned. Yeti. Oops. Uh, that's kind of one thing I don't particularly care for, is that if you go between <coughs> the world of consciousness and... Well... Come on, do I only need to say it? All junctions get disabled, which is... Yeti. Honestly, pretty stupid. But otherwise, this is a... That's a good game. Apart from that one instance. Oh yeah, something I didn't go into. Typically, defenses will cap out at 100. If it goes over 100%, you'll see that star. That means that you are able to absorb that specific element of attack. Instead of being hurt by it, you will instead heal from it. Yeah, I wanted to um, make sure. Yeah, yeah, I wanted to make sure I chunk in everyone. But I wanted to bring that up specifically. But yeah. 
Now that we've now that we've chunked and everything. Actually, yeah, I think I want to save real quick. All right, now that we saved. Have you seen the dummy of the president, sir? If you haven't, it's like a look. See, it's a piece of art. I know a kidnapping plan must be tough. As a look to you, sir. Not yet. I want to see uh, the dummy they created. I'm in a bad mood right now. If there's something particular, I order you to leave immediately. That dummy looks real, huh? No one will ever realize the fake. Interesting. Did a good job, and I'll say that. But yeah, we are indeed ready. Skull over here! Do you have any sound sensor? Do you have any temperature sensor? Yeah, I don't care. <clears throat> As they burn in this car, after we get a car off, we'll proceed with the first one coupling. Now, what I meant by the info given was misleading. Oh, hold on. Sir, everything is in order. Sir! You again? That's 27 times now! How many more times do you plan to disturb me with this meaningless report? Sir, I'm sorry, sir. That's my duty, sir. It's hard to believe that anyone would put up with this nonsense. I guess it's none of my business. Dismissed! Sir, yes, sir. There it goes next month, paycheck. How am I gonna propose to her now? I had to put it off again. Oh, I felt bad for him. Uh, as much as he's my enemy, still. This is the first escort. We're gonna uncouple this one first. Like Matt said, there should be two guards on this car. Selfie, Zell, you keep an eye on the guards. Let us know early if you see them coming. Alright, watch the blue guard. And it's off, it's off, you are take the right. He'll take the standard, he'll take the elite. Of course, the red card is closer, it doesn't matter because the elite is. well, he walks slower. Yes, I remember everything. Got three codes. Let's. Yes, 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 I know. Go down! 2 4 2. Come on, get up, get up, get up, get up, get up! <clears throat> okay, I got things backwards. Yeah, I know I said that the info was misleading. I was right above them. Alright, 2, 4, 3, 2. Yeah, they were directly under me and nothing happened. 4, 1, 1, 4. Code 3 is confirmed. Let's go! This music is amazing. Really helps add to the tension of the situation. <laughs> and there comes in the bass. <clears throat> A 
Oh, sorry too. I know he's not gonna like it, but it's my job. S sir, everything is in order, sir. Huh? He's kinda angry. That's strange. Oh, he's reading the paper. I wonder where he got it. What? Is there a problem? I'm in a bad mood right now. There's nothing particular. I order you to leave immediately. Sir, I, I say, yes, sir. You, don't stand there. Get back to your station. Sorry, yes, sir. Because another paycheck is two in one day. What the heck? Is this the right train? The interior looks different. Looks shabbier. Maybe not. What am I gonna do? No rain. No more candlelight dinner. I'm never gonna be able to get married. Oh, that's okay. That's. I don't feel as bad as I could have, but. My god! I didn't have to worry about that second paycheck because that's a dummy president, but still! Maybe I aren't this. We're looking at the So we're on our own from here. It's over right. Yes, we know. <clears throat> okay. Three, four, one, one. Okay, gotta go, gotta go, gotta go. Okay, first the elite. No 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 You can actually say it's nothing And give it another shot Uh I guess if there's ever time to show this it'd be now which thankfully I'd have to re record to show that but, wow, that's bad. 4132. Okay. <clears throat> Here comes the standard. The standard guard. But yeah. you also see what I meant by a little bit misleading. Okay, two, four, three, four. Two, one, four, one. Got it! Okay. Here comes the standard guard. Come on, move a little faster, please. Come on, move it, move it, move it. Keys, you're a slow pokey. Four, three, two, two. Code four confirmed. Two, two, one, one. We done it! Hell yeah! Mission accomplished. Your president is mine. Finally, we waited so long for this encounter with Vinzer. Excellent, sir. Hold on. Super duper, sir. Well then. Use intelligence up to me, sir. Oh. 
You three, tell me when you're ready to go. As soon as you're ready, I'll begin serious negotiations with the president. Negotiations? Make sure my key is equipped. Well, I did that beforehand. I have a feeling Renoa's going to want to tag along. Oh, assuming we can tag her along anyway. <coughs> Alright. I'm gonna save right here. <coughs> I seriously love this music. It's the mission. Oh, just kiss amazing. Next time let's play Final Fantasy VIII. We shall confront Dealing. See you guys then.